So h of x uh, is given as ax cube uh, plus bx squared. Um, the extending points are O and B. And then uh, 10.1 .1 says show that A equals to minus 1 and B equals to 6. Uh, we are only given H of X and point B. Uh, I'm not considering point O because it's 0 and 0, right? So even if you substitute it in h of x it doesn't give you much so we have two um unknown variables a and b but we have one uh, equation h right and then the way we do this uh, we can substitute uh, b in h of x right and then after we substitute b on h of x we can derivate h of x and then we still substitute b but then after we've derivated it we know that it's, equals, it's supposed to be equal to zero because b is the turning point so if we do that uh, we're gonna get um, h of x equals to ax cube uh, plus bx squared so b is uh, 4 and 32 so that will give us uh, 32 equals to a multiplied by 4 cube plus b uh, multiplied by 4 squared and then we're gonna get 32 equals to uh, 4 to the power 3 uh, 4 to the power 2 is 16 so 4 to the power 3 is supposed to be 64 so we're gonna get 64a uh, plus 16b right uh, the coefficient of b is less than that of a so I'm gonna make b the subject of the formula. So I'm gonna get 16b equals to 32 minus 64a. Now I'm dividing everything by 16. I'll get b equals to 2 uh, minus uh, 4a. And then I call this equation one. And then now if I derivate h of x, I'm gonna get 3a x squared plus 2bx right and then I substitute I know that this is supposed to be equal to 0 because it's at the turning point right and then I can substitute uh, b again if I substitute b I'm gonna get 3a multiplied by 4 squared uh, plus 2b multiplied by 4 equals to 0 so here I'm gonna get uh, 3 uh, multiplied by 16a plus 8b equals to 0 so 8b equals to minus 3 uh, multiplied by 16a uh, and then I divide everything by 8 I'll get b equals to um, 16 multiplied by 3 that will be uh, 1632 48 and then 48 divided by 8 uh, will give us uh, minus 6a so this is equation two. Now I can equate equation one and equation two to find uh, b uh, to find a. So I'm gonna have minus six a uh, equals to two minus four a. Uh, take minus four a to the right hand side to the left hand side. I'm gonna get minus two a equals to two. So a equals to uh, minus one, right? And then to find B, I can either substitute A in equation 1 or 2. If I substitute it in 1, then I'm going to get B equals to 2 minus 4. And then A is minus 1, so this is 2 uh, plus 4, uh, which is um, equals to 6. And that's exactly what uh, we are asked to prove. A is equals to minus 1, B is equals to 6. Um, 10.2 say so you calculate uh, the coordinates of A. A is uh, the x-intercept of uh, the graph, right? Uh, the one x-intercept is at 0 and then the other one is at A. So x-intercept, we know that, okay, so if we want x-intercept, you see y is equal to 0. So we're going to have, um, we see that A is minus 1, so we're going to have... Um, minus 
x cube uh, b h6 uh, plus 6x squared equals to 0. And then we can solve for x. If we take uh, minus x squared as a common factor, uh, we're going to be left with x uh, minus 6 equals to 0. So um, x is equal to 0, right? Uh, because of uh, this here. Or x equals to 6. So our a is definitely not 0. Uh, it can only be 6. So the coordinates of a will then be uh, 6 and 0. 10.3, um, 10.3.1. Uh, write down the values of x for which h is increasing. Um, if you look at the graph, h is increasing from uh, this point here, the origin, to point b, right? So the value uh, for which x is increasing is from um, when x is uh, greater than 0, or less than four, right? So that's uh, the the range at which x is increasing. Uh, at at zero and at exactly four, uh, the the gradient is zero. So it's either decreasing or increasing, right? It's only increasing uh, between zero and four. Uh, ten point three point two. Ten point three point two says uh, write down the values of x for which h is concave down. Right here in this part, it is concave up, and then it changes and is concave uh, down. Right at some point here. So if we determine this point, we will then know uh, the x values for which it is. Uh, concave down so that point you can determine it by uh, adding uh, the x values of uh, the intercepts and uh, dividing by 2 right so we're gonna have uh, x uh, let me just say xc for uh, concavity so xc will be 4 uh, plus 0 right and then actually it's supposed to be minus minus 0 it doesn't matter for zero, but then if you have a number that is not zero, it's actually going to matter. So we're going to have four minus zero uh, divided by two because this point here is the midpoint uh, between uh, the origin and B along the x-axis. So this will give us uh, two, right? Because we're just dividing four by two. So for as long as x is greater than two, our graph is concave down. And then when x is less than 2, our graph is concave up. Let's move ahead. 10.4. 10.4 says uh, for which values of k will uh, minus x minus 1 cube uh, plus 6 x minus 1 squared minus k equals to 0. Right? Um, one thing to notice here is that uh, if we let, okay, let's let uh, h of x uh, be equals to minus uh, x minus 1 cube plus 6x minus 1, right? Uh, if you pay close attention, you will realize that h of x is just equals to f of x minus 1, right? Everywhere where there is x in f of x, you put x minus 1 instead. So what does what that does to the graph of x of f of x uh, is that it moves it one unit to the right, right? So if I draw that uh, in our graph, so now it has moved uh, one unit to the right. So we're going to have something like... Um, something like this everything has moved one unit to the right and uh, now we have uh one root uh, which is positive and then another root which is positive right 
and then the question says uh, we need one root which is negative and two roots which are positive so in order to make uh, to get another root uh, and then that root be negative it's if you shift uh, this graph down right uh, but then if you shift it too much you can end up with uh, with no roots so you have to uh, shift it uh, precisely so let's say uh, we want one of the roots to be zero if we want one of the roots to be zero and uh, then we're gonna have um we're gonna have h uh, of zero equals to uh minus uh the root uh, we want it to be zero so zero minus one cube uh, plus six zero minus one uh, which will be equals to uh this will be one because minus one cube is minus one then multiply by minus it will just give you one okay here we have a square so it's gonna be one uh plus uh six right and then don't forget we minus in by k we minus in by k so if we want to uh make if we want a root uh, that is uh that is negative and then we have two other positive roots then k has to be uh, greater than seven right so at this instance we know that uh, our k has to be greater than seven uh, but then we have we supposed to have an upper limit too because if we hit the graph too much we can end up not having roots so when must the graph stop so if we continuously move uh, this graph down right so let's say uh, we move it here uh, we still don't have a problem but then if we get uh, to a point where the turning point here is um uh, it's zero then we're gonna have uh we're gonna have uh we're gonna end up having uh only the turning point will also be the root so we're gonna have two roots instead of three so x must uh, so k so k must not be greater uh, than the turning point uh, the y coordinate of the turning point the y coordinate of the turning point is 32 so this is basically what this question is asking us to do